Ah, well, hello, YouTube. Old Tomator is pretty well done. Put enough metal in it to make a truck. Had to straighten out enough places in the body to make a man want to cry. Well, she's taped up. Ground's wet. I've got it in the shade just, just barely. I'm going to paint the cab and then I'm going to paint the bed. Um, the way these clouds are rolling, I don't know if you can see, there's some dark clouds. And where the sun's at, if you can see it, I don't know, I'm pointing it in there. The way these clouds are moving, that dark cloud right there, and that one right there, are going to cover that sun up in probably about 35 or 40 minutes. And that's what I'm hoping for to get that bed painted. So, um, Redneck way of doing it, I know. Rednecks have redneck ways, but I've always uh, come out with the best paint job if I painted one when it looked like it was going to rain on it. So <laughs> that's kind of just seems how it always goes. But we've done a lot of work to the old truck. We've remade the bottoms of the fenders, remade the rockers. Rockers ain't exactly, exactly like they're supposed to be. They're more straight and they're supposed to have a concave in them. Oh, well, whatever. One side did and one side didn't before. We've reseed and sealed the top. Yeah, it looks like some snot dribbled across through there. Whatever. You know, you can see some there. Can you see it? That's what I'm asking you. Can you see it? I can't see it, so we're not worried about it. Um, put black primer on it and wiped it all down. That's why it's all streaky. It just recently wiped down, but anyway. It is what it is. It'll paint out pretty good. It'll look better than it did before. And I painted it outside the last time I painted it. But... Anyway, I'm going to set you on the tripod, I'm going to mix some paint, and I'm going to start squirting some paint. Uh, I may uh, do one like old Pisser does and uh, just upload you huh, an a half hour, 45 minute video this time. You might want to watch it. Bondo dust on the camera. Wow. Gotta love it. Get this thing in here. I'm not the tripod king, so bear with me. You can laugh at me if you desire. I'm having issues. Mr. Me and Mr. Tripod were buddies, but we're not best friends, so that's how that goes. I'm trying to get the camera a good distance away from what I'm doing. That's my plan. I'll zoom you in, but it's one benefit of a tripod. I'm going to set the camera, I don't know, I'm 40 foot from the truck. Something's loose here. Tighten something up. Something ain't right. Aha! That would be the issue. Spin that back around. I had uh, the whole head was loose. It ain't supposed to be. It's supposed to pivot right there. Yeah! That's more fluid like. Everything on this thing's loose. That's what you get for letting Miss Toe Wrecker mess with something, I guess. She was using this the other day for steel pictures and, well, you see what you get. You get everything mangled and twisted. Well, anyway, Gutchins view of the truck. That ain't all I want you to see, so let me try some more. I'll set Mr. Tripod over here. Yeah. You can see right there in blue totes in front of my Pepsi machine. That's the paint. We're going to start mixing. We're going to start spraying. Don't know if you're going to be able to hear what I'm saying or not. I'm just trying to talk loud, and that's just how it's going to be. I've done opened up my paint. As you can tell, it's green. Maybe you can tell. It's the same paint that's on the truck, actually. This paint's uh, from 1997. That's how old this paint is. Yeah, it's been around a while. It amazed me that it was any good. I took it. The lady I bought it from, she's still in business, believe it or not. She's not a not a name company. She's an independent. And she's still open and
that kicked on, what I was saying is, this paint's as old as it is, needless to say, uh, she didn't figure it'd be any good, did it die, but she said, what the hey, I want to try some paint. She said, bring it up here. She said, pull up, shake it up, stir it up, look at it. I can help looking at it, it's ain't good, she said. I said, well, we can handle that. So I proceeded to do just that. I waited a few days. I went and uh, took it back up there to her. And uh, she shook it up. Shook it three or four times. I mean, let it shake a good while. Went, hey, it's still good. And I said, you're kidding me. She said, no, it's still good. Well, rednecks have redneck ways. They make holders for these blasted guns. I don't own one. So this is how we're going to do it. We're probably going to wear it. say that's about as full as I want it. For now anyway. There's a little left in there. Put that in the next round. We're fixing to start spraying some paint. But first, you gotta take care of your health. This thing called a respirator. If you're painting your own vehicle, just go ahead and buy the darn thing. It costs you you can buy a re, uh, disposable like this, 3M job, you can buy a disposable. For less than thirty dollars, most places I got it. I can buy stuff at commercial price. I get like eighteen dollars for it. They, they're um, if you use if you paint every day, they're good for I don't know probably ten or twelve paint jobs maybe something like that. They eventually stop up and you can't breathe through them or you start to really smell the paint. But um, anyway, it's uh, not an expensive item. Buy yourself one saves you the gagging and the hacking. But you're not going to be able to hear me after I put this on, so just watch.
Yep, there was one coat. I'm gonna let it set for a second, mix some more paint, and finish painting the top of the truck. I kind of boo booed if you just didn't notice. I only painted half the top. But I want to get up on a five gallon bucket or something and figure out some way of spraying the rest of it. But anyway, I'll show you when you're done when I'm done.